Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's session, we are going to see how we can update Power App Owner using Power Automate. So you might have already faced this situation that uh, a few of your Power Apps have been created by some user and they are no longer with the organization. So how you can change the ownership of that app? So that we are going to look at. And for that, uh, I'll be showing you two ways. And the most prominent way I would be showing you that with the using Power Automate. So you can see I have a list of Power Apps over here. And uh, there is one property that is owner. So we are going to change this property owner. We will be assigning this to a person who is still with the company and would just remove the person who is who is already left the company. So I'll just go to my Power Automate and I'll just create one instant cloud flow and the trigger I'll be just setting up as manual trigger and in the next step and if you are a power app admin in your organization then you would be able to use this next set of steps that power apps for admins power apps for admins if I choose that and if I just try to find out sat app owner then you would see that action and if I click on it you would find that I have to fill in few details over here the environment name app power app name API version which is already prefilled content type and old uh, role for old app owner so we'll just keep it as can view so old owner can still view the app and new power app owner principal id so these three properties we are going to extract and fill in uh, this action so how to get the environment name so i need to go back to my power apps and over here i'll just go to this gear icon and under this developer resources you would find the properties for your environment so unique name is this environment id is this so we would require environment id so i just copy that environment id in one of my notepad and as a next property we would need power app name so name field of the power apps though it says the name field but it has to have the id of the power app so for example i need to update this person with my name so i just get right click on this power app go to the details and under detail i would able to see app id and copy this app id and paste it so above is my environment id this is app id so now the third property which i need to fill in is new power app owner the principal object id of this so for that i have to extract the object id of the user so I need to go to the my AD portal. So you can just uh, type in portal.azure.com and we can just pick the Azure Active Directory from the Azure services. And now you can start typing in the name. So I'll just try to find out my name over here. And it should be under users. And over here I'll list I am having list of all the users from here I can just try finding my name and if I click on this person it opens up the detail pane for me and object ID is this property so I'll just copy it to clipboard and paste in notepad so now I have all the three properties now I start filling in so the first one is the environment name second one is power app name so i'll just copy from notepad and fill in that and the last one is new app owner object id so i'll just copy this my object id and paste it over here so now i have filled in i'll just save and it's a manual trigger so i'll be just running that so i'll just click on this test button i'll just run this flow and click on test and now this flow should run and update the ownership of my power app. So it's still running. OK, 
okay so it ran successfully and now i can go back to my power apps and would we'll see now you can see the ownership has been changed to my name for this first app and it was modified 17 seconds ago so in that fashion you can update the ownership and that that is the thing you would require most of the time if you are power admin of your environment then many of the time you have to do these ownership changes you may be getting many of the requests so one way i just showcase that to you and the other way would be using powershell and using powershell you have to again use the three properties which we just talked about how to extract those properties app name new app owner this object id and the environment name so all these three things you have to still need to pass and the action is would be set admin power app owner so with this three with this command you would able to set the admin owner so if you are getting request in bulk you would able to use this partial and if somehow you are restricted to use partial then you can still go to the power power automate you can create this small two step flow and have that in place so probably like uh, this could be useful for you because most of the time because i am a power admin so most of the time i do get these type of request that this person is no, no longer with the organization i have to update the ownership so probably this is the video to watch and if you like the video please do subscribe like and drop your comments thank you